to prepare stained temporary mount of onion peel. Materials required Medium sized onion, slide, cover slip, watch glass, forceps, knife, needle, distilled water, glycerin, dropper, blotting paper. Saffron in solution Compound microscope Brush Procedure Take a medium-sized onion and cut it laterally into four to five pieces with the help of a knife. Remove a scale leaf from one of the pieces. Break the scale leaf gently from the middle and peel a small portion from the delicate epidermis, that is the covering, that covers the inner surface of the scale leaf. Remove the delicate epidermal peel with the help of forceps and place it in a watch glass containing distilled water. Take another watch glass and place in it three to four drops of safranin solution. With the help of brush, transfer the peel in water into the safranin solution for staining. Wait for two to three minutes. Transfer the peel back to the watch glass containing water. This will remove the extra stain sticking to the peel. Take a clean glass slide and pour 1 to 2 drops of glycerine. Transfer the stained peel on the drops of glycerine on the slide with the help of brush. The peel may tend to curl up. With the help of needle and brush, flatten the peel. Place the cover slip on the slide in such a way that no air bubbles enter in it. Gently press the cover slip with needle to spread glycerine and peel properly. Remove the extra material surrounding the slide with the help of blotting paper. Examine the slide under compound microscope. Observation There are large number of cells lying side by side with distinct cell walls. A largely stained nucleus is present in the periphery of cytoplasm. A lightly stained cytoplasm is the periphery of cell wall. A prominent vacuole is the center of each cell, surrounding by cytoplasm. Inference the cells under observation are the plant cell. It's because cell wall and large vacuoles are clearly seen.